This is a demonstration and instructional video for a 6 foot by 12 foot uh, BVC class vacuum forming machine. First thing we'll be looking at is the main control face. Uh, right in the top here you can see the heat timer. Uh, this is for timing a, uh, the heating of a sheet of plastic. You can uh, put your timing in here. <clears throat> Press the timer button, the plastic will come on. Uh, this is the time in which your plastic should be heating. When the light goes off, you know that the plastic is ready. Right below that we have our, uh, our main power switch here, emergency stop. Push to turn off, twist to turn on. Below that is the vacuum pump switch, turns the vacuum pump on and off. Below the vacuum pump switch is the oven temperature control. It runs on a percentage of zero to 100%. For example, if we put it at 80, we're running at 80% of maximum, maximum capability. Below the oven temperature control, we have our uh, heat zone size down switches. And uh, on this particular machine, we have a size down of four foot by six foot, and that's in the on position now. We also have an eight foot by six foot setting, and uh, you would turn that on if you wanted to have an eight by six foot uh, oven heat zone. And then below that you have your 12 by six, uh, which would turn on the entire oven. Uh, for all these zones to activate, they all have to be in the on position. To the left of the control box, we have our two uh, operating valves. First, we're going to be looking at the pneumatic valve for the table. It runs the table up and down. And then below that, we have our vacuum valve to release stored vacuum. Here we can see our tooling table. This is where um, mold and uh, molds and tooling would be mounted to. Above the tooling table is the clamping frame uh, for clamping uh, material. Demonstrating a model BVC class, uh, six foot by 12 foot vacuum forming machine. Uh, we'll go through the whole process. I'll uh, preferably tell you what I'm gonna do before I do it. First thing you wanna do is uh, insert the plastic into the machine. The next step would be to roll the oven into position over the plastic and begin the heating.
After heating the material, uh, you need to push back the oven, raise the table, and open the vacuum valve. At this point, we want to allow the plastic part to cool until rigid. And then we can remove it from the machine. Once the part is cooled, uh, we're going to close the vacuum valve and lower the table, then remove the foreign plastic part from the machine. You can now repeat the process. 